going to be showing you my best 2018 World Cup in Russia duos. So, let's get straight to the video. So, my duos are pretty good. These are some of my best, remember. I have way more, but these are some of my duos. So, let's get straight into the video. So, here guys, here is my, some of my best, so, let's start off. So, we're going to start off with Bolting. Bolting plays for FC Bayern Munich. He is one of the best on FC Bayern Munich, and he's really good this, he was pretty good this year. Sadly, Germany got out in the group stage of this World Cup, so... Yeah. Now, Shakiri. Shakiri scored this World Cup, but Switzerland only got to the round of. Only got to the quarterfinals, I think. I think they got to the quarterfinals. I'm not sure. I'll check. But quarterfinals were round 16, so. The carry scored against Argin against Brazil maybe, I'm not sure, but he was pretty good this World Cup. Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva was good this World Cup. Um my name is for very different reasons. So Thiago Silva did whatever he could to win. He was Really good this World Cup. He plays for um, PSG, Paris Saint Germain, in France. So he scored one or two goals in this World Cup. So good for him. Or he made an assist. Yeah. So Saul Nugas. Saul Nugas was. Basically, basically, um, he, was, he played for Atletico Madrid. He's pretty good for Atletico Madrid. He was de pretty decent for Spain this World Cup. So, yeah, he didn't score any goals. I don't think. I don't think he made any assists. So, yeah. Then the superstar of them all. I guess if you guys can guess. He's a midfielder for Belgium. Leave in the comments who you think it is. I'll give you a little bit. He, he plays for Manchester City and is a midfielder or forward for Belgium. Midfielder or forward for Belgium. Born in 1991. Kevin De Bruyne. If you got that right, good for you guys. So, Kevin De Bruyne. He scored in this World Cup one or twice. He made assists. He is phenomenal. He's probably my favorite player playing field player. My favorite goalie is Tim Howard. But field player, he's my favorite field player. He is just, he's one of my favorite field players. He is just phenomenal with the ball out of his so comfortable. So, he is a great, great example. He's very humble, so. Then, Matt Hummels for FC Bayern Munich. Matt Hummels, he was pretty decent, pretty, pretty, pretty decent in this World Cup. He's pretty decent and pretty good. Um, he... Maybe had an assist, maybe had a goal. I think he had a goal. I think he did have a goal, but this player, boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is great for FC Bayern in great form right now, so, yeah. Then we got Choi. He, oh my goodness. 
was phenomenal. He was just phenomenal this World Cup for Mexico. The last one round of 16 against Brazil, but he in the group stage, oh, falufa, he was phenomenal. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, oh, this boy, he's always so good in the World Cup. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I want to say, uh, he should get traded to a, a better team than they are standard legit, but, uh, Steam plays for Mexico and La Rio. Real standard D led in Belgium, so he. I feel like he should get traded to like a maybe Hull City. Um, so, yeah. There you go, a chill. But, um, Sisto! Oh, he's so good with the ball on his feet. Favorite team? Denmark. Favorite team this World Cup? I wanted. I, I wanted the US to win, but. So when it gets turned down to big, I can't believe they, I can't, I can't believe they didn't win or tie. Um, but here's, um, Sisto. Sisto, he is so fast with the ball on his feet for Denmark. Woo! Woo! He's so good this World Cup. Oh my goodness. So, I was going to put him aside. I don't know his information. This World Cup, so. Andre Gomes for Barcelona. He. I don't know if he. I don't think he scored this World Cup. But he. He's a pretty. Pretty good player. He. Yeah. So. This player, Gomes, plays for FC Barcelona in Spain. He was born in. On. He was born on July 30th, so, July, July 30th, so, yeah, July 30th, 1993, so his birthday's coming up, Gums, Gums. Yes, I gums. Got Manuel Neuer. He is. He. I'd prefer to stay in the net, but he's good. He's good. Um, he got her. I. I wish she plays for Bayern Munich. She Bayern Munich in Germany. I wish to stay in the play because he's in better form. Um, Neuer got hurt, so yeah. Um, he saved a lot, but sadly they lost against Republic of Korea, so. Yeah. Eight minutes into the video, guys. We got two of these. I have three of these guys, but Nicholas Bentar. Nicholas Bentar, same, same guy, same guy. So, Nicholas, these two Nicholas Bentar. Nicholas Bentar. I don't think he played this World Cup, but... Real life, he's a pretty good player. He plays for Rosenberg, BK, and Norway, so. He didn't play this World Cup, I don't think. Oh, Sherman. I think he scored against, um. He scored, I think, this World Cup for main assist, because I hear about this name a lot, so. I can't really fill in that much information about this player, but pretty good. First episode of Soccer Life, guys, so stadium, coming co good. Um, it's a pretty good stadium. Um, played it in the World Cup. Um, so there's no not that much history on it, but... Yeah. 
Allison. 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 He, it says he plays for Roma, but he actually, right after the World Cup, just got traded to Liverpool. So, Liverpool are a great team in England. I think he deserves to play for Liverpool's third place. Liverpool was third place this um year. Third, fourth place this year, so I was um played for Brazil's World Cup. Um, but yeah, pretty good. He made some great saves in this World Cup to keep their team alive. So this was great. Last but not least, Leroy Sané. He plays for Manchester City. Teammates with. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne, um, we are Sana. He's a really good player too. Um, he actually is really good for um, Germany, and he is a great player. So he's assist. He didn't score in this World Cup, I don't think, but he did. He he's really good in like real reality and everything. So. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys back next time on Soccer Life.